has been an extremely high security project. They hired a lot of people from ASML, Chinese nationals who had gone and worked at the Dutch company ASML, who had insider knowledge. But after they stopped working for ASML, after a certain number of years, can be legally hired. They've been sneaky, but this is strategic national security. One veteran Chinese engineer from ASML was surprised to find that his generous signing bonus came with an identif identification card issued under a false name. Once inside, he recognized former ASML colleagues working under aliases and was instructed to use fake names to maintain secrecy. So they knew each other in Holland or wherever they were based before, and then suddenly they were back in Shenzhen having to call each other fake names. Another person confirmed recruits were given fake IDs to conceal their identities. Classified under national security, no one outside could know what they were there. The team includes recently retired Chinese-born former engineers and scientists, prime recruitment targets, possess sensitive technical knowledge but face fewer constraints after leaving the company. So there will be NDAs and there'll be various restrictions on what they can say about their prior employee. But once they've retired and after some, a certain number of years, that becomes moot. So if this is true, and this reporting seems fairly in-depth, and it is Reuters, so it's a news, a press agency, they don't just publish any nonsense. 